Hi, I'm Dr. J.D. Armstrong. I'm a technology, education, and outreach specialist that works for the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy here on the island of Maui. In this episode of Mauna Kea at Home, I'm going to show you how to make your very own candy box spectroscope. Before I explain what a spectroscope is, let me tell you the materials that you'll need in order to make your very own spectroscope. The first thing you'll need is a small box, like a candy box. This box is about six inches long, two and a half inches wide, and three quarters of an inch thick. Your box does not have to be exactly that size, but this is a size I found to be pretty good. You will also need a compact disc. Make sure that this is a compact disc that you can live without because we're going to be breaking it. You'll also need a small piece of aluminum foil and some clear tape, like packing tape is excellent for this. The tools you'll need are a pair of scissors and a hobby knife. Be very careful of the hobby knife and uh, whenever using it, our younger viewers should get adult supervision. I probably should get adult supervision too, but no adults are available. Optional things that would be very helpful would be to get a piece of construction paper, uh, black construction paper or otherwise dark paper, and a black felt tip pen, preferably one with a fairly broad tip. The final thing that you're going to need is a pair of safety glasses. A spectroscope is a device that we look through and it spreads the light out into a rainbow. It separates the light by color. By doing this, we can see where the light is bright and where it's dark. And in some cases, we could tell what is emitting the light. Astronomers use a similar device called a spectrograph. A spectrograph is a device that also spreads the light out into its colors, but then instead of letting us look at it with our eye, it records the information in the form of an image or a table. By looking at the information we get from a spectrograph, astronomers can learn all sorts of things, like what a star is made of, how strong the surface gravity is, what the temperature is, whether it's moving towards us or away from us, and many other things that help us understand what we're seeing when we look through the telescopes. Let me give you an example. In this image, I'm showing the hydrogen alpha line. Hydrogen alpha line is a spectral line caused by the element hydrogen. A spectral line is a very well-defined color of light that elements interact with very strongly. Think of it like the fingerprints for the elements. If we see the fingerprints, we know the element is present. So by seeing this hydrogen alpha line, on, from the star, I know that the star has to have hydrogen in it. Now let's go ahead and make our spectroscope. We start off by opening up the candy box. We want to be careful not to rip the, fl the flaps. Now inside of the box, you're going to find some packing material. I'm going to empty that into this cup, and then I will dispose of it properly at a later time. So now we have our empty box. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our felt tip pen, if you're doing this, and I'm going to go ahead and darken one of the side flaps with the felt tip pen like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this will help us see the spectrum when, that is projected against the end of the box. We also want to darken one of the end tabs. Now I'm going to darken a band around the top inside of the box. The next step is to cut a small hole in the end of the box. So when we fold up the tabs, we're going to want a small hole, maybe about half an inch, on this one end of the box. So I'm going to use the scissors to do that. I'll cut off this end of the box here cut off that tab, and then I'm going to cut these about, like I said, about half an inch. It 
it doesn't have to be exact on both of the flaps on the side, like this. That way, when we fold the box together, there's an opening. Next, we want to do the same thing with the other end of the box. I'm going to put the opening in the diagonal here. So here's the opening on this end of the box. I'm going to put a small opening on this end of the box. This is where the small craft knife will be useful. I can just slide this in and cut this back very carefully. And then we want to fold this up like that and use our scissors to cut that little piece off and also pull up the tab and cut that off as well. That way we have an opening on this end of the box and on this end of the box. The next thing you want to do is you want to take your craft paper and cut a small piece. I've already cut this piece. You want the craft paper to be the same length as the box and a little more than twice the width of the box. A good way to do this is make it a little bit bigger than you need and then trim it back as, as you uh, see what you need. We're going to open this up. This is the end with the hole. And I'm going to take the craft paper and just kind of roll it over. I'm not going to crease it. I'm just going to kind of roll it over, fold it in half. And I'm going to insert it in the box. The idea of this craft paper is it will absorb any of the light that is scattered around the box. That will make our, our spectrum easier to see. The next step is to take a small piece of tape and fold up the box. I'm going to make sure I put the darkened tabs, I'm going to fold the darkened, darkened tabs first that way it'll be dark inside the box. And then I use a piece of tape to just hold that down. I tried not to get the tape over the opening, but if it's clear tape, it won't make a big difference. So if that didn't happen with you, don't stress it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the aluminum foil and we're going to make a very small opening, a very small slit. The aluminum foil should be big enough should be wide enough that it'll cover the box like this. What we're going to do is we're going to cover this opening except for a very, very thin, straight, small slit right there. So I'm going to take this aluminum foil. I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut a piece oh, about that long. I guess that's maybe an inch and a half. And I'm going to cut a second piece about the same size. Doesn't have to be too exact. Then I'm going to take a piece of the tape. And the way I do this is I put a piece of tape with the sticky side up. I put that down on the table. And then I take my aluminum foil. And it'll go across the box like this and I'm going to fold it like this. Again, the idea is to make a nice straight edge so that I can make a very thin slit that will let light into the opening in the box. All the light should have to go through this slit. That's the idea. I'm going to take the other piece of aluminum foil and I'm going to fold it the same way I did with the first one. I'm going to turn it around so that the folded edges are straight against each other. And I'm going to put this down to make a very thin, straight slit there. This is about what it should look like when you've made your slit. Just a very narrow, very straight slit. 
Now we're going to take the candy box and we're going to put that slit over this and the slit will go this way. It'll go across the thickness of the box. So I'm going to put that down and I'm going to make sure that I put it kind of centered in the opening of the box. So here's my slit. I just fold that over. I think I need to move that up a little bit. I'm going to put it right there. I fold that over like this. Again, the idea is to make sure that all the light that gets into the box goes through this very narrow slit. I'm going to fold this down to make it a little nicer and neat. Some nice neat corners here. That's just to make it look nice. It's not functionally necessary, but it, it is nice to have a good looking spectroscope. Tape those down. Sometimes I find it necessary to put an extra little piece of tape over the top. This time it's not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. That'll keep those rabbit ears folded down. There we go. The next step is to cut a piece of the CD to cover the hole in the end of the box. This is a step where you definitely want to be wearing your safety glasses. Now, you might think that we should cut a wedge-shaped piece of the CD, but what we really want to do is we want to cover this hole. And so we want to strip a, a rectangle of the CD that is the same width as the box. To get that, I'm going to put the box down on the CD with this edge pointed towards the hole at the center of the CD. Then I can use my marker to mark the edges of the box like that. Very carefully, I'm going to use my scissors to cut the piece of CD out of the CD. And you want to cut a little bit inside of the mark if you do it this way. That should give you about the right size. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to stick it on the non-metallic side of the CD. I want to stick that on fairly well. And then when I pull the tape off, it'll pull the metallic coating off with it. We can then tape the CD onto the box. This is the edge of the CD. Okay? And we want it parallel to the slit in the other end of the box. So I'm just going to get a piece of tape and I'm going to tape that on. And then I can just fold that down like that. And this is your completed spectroscope. I'm going to take my safety glasses off to use the spectroscope. To use it, I'm going to look through this piece of CD at this end, and I'm going to point the slit towards a light source. And I see a red line, a green line, a teal line, and a violet line. That's because the light I'm looking at is a neon light. It doesn't have all the colors, just specific ones. When I look through this, here's my slit, and then I'll see the spectrum off here, the rainbow off to this side. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please let us know by clicking on the like button. You might also want to share the video with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching.